fragrances that I didn't like before that I like now. So let me show you one that I hardly talk about on this channel, but it's Versace Crystal Noir. And no lie, when I smelled this fragrance, it was a gift from a follower, I kind of... I kind of got dentist office vibes and I was like, hold on, wait, let me you know. I was still new to the game. I'm still new to the game right now, but yeah, I got the apple, but I didn't understand the sensuality of this fragrance that much at all. And to be honest, like I still, I know there's coconut in here, but I, I can't really smell it as much. It smells like apple to me, but again, you know, there's something you have to spray in the air, but yeah, this fragrance. I was I was I kind of held it at a distance when I first like sprayed it and I tested it um on somebody else actually not myself because I wasn't and I'm until this day I'm still not really a fan of traditionally feminine scents like ones that are very very feminine but now like I'll I'll test it no problem like I think good girl and see intense are very sexy but this one I see it now as a uh, a sophisticated date night fragrance just something you wear when you feel beautiful and you're just feeling very feminine. It's a gorgeous scent, truly. It's something that works well with whatever you're, you're, if you're, if you're dressed up or dressed down, but to me, it's better if you are dressed up. So Versace Crystal Noir, we had our, uh, our hard beginnings, but now her and I are friends. Next is going, oh my God. Next is going to be, where are you? I just lost track of the fragrance. Oh, you know what? It's gonna be Prada Black. And this one wasn't actually one that I was gonna mention on the list. Yeah, I found the one I was gonna mention. But yeah, when I first smelled this fragrance, oh, it's nice. It was pretty like tirey. That made, like it smelled like a car tire for a little bit, but like when it was up close on me. I now know that this is a fragrance that does better when it pushes off the skin. I've kind of learned the difference between those two, that there are some fragrances that shine better that are intimate, and there are some that you don't want to smell up close, but smell nice from afar or during the scent trail. And this is one of those fragrances to me. Now I smell, let me, let me do it right now, to test all of you, or to, to test it in front of all of you. Yeah, it's just like this, it's, See, there's that tire smell again that is for some reason it sort of rubs me the wrong way but this fragrance is really nice initially in the air that that tirey scent is forgivable to me like this smells like a little bit powdery not so much vanilla but kind of a little bit amberish to me to me right now in this very moment so is this something I am still crazy about? No. And thankfully this was a gift from a follower um, because I actually bought a bottle of this before and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it to my dad. And then the next week a follower was like, I sent you something. And I was like, oh shoot, they sent me Prada Black. I could have held off on the other one, but yeah, this scent is just, it's, I think it's great for date nights. Like I said, even right now, just smelling it in the air, it's just like, ooh. That's, it's, oh, it's good. It's good. I think it suits better for cooler weather than it does in the high heat. If you're a bit more dressed up or if you're wearing all black, this is a sleek fragrance that's just, it's very charming. I find it to be a charming scent now. So Prada Black, and I'm going to talk about this one more because I feel like sometimes it doesn't get the love that it deserves, you know? Am I crazy about it? No, but do I think it deserves more love? Yeah, of course I do. Third, Versace, the dreamer, the dreamer, thankfully, another one sent from a follower a few months ago when I was, uh, it was, it was one of my TikTok followers, yeah, and he's like, you gotta try this Versace, it's very, Versace, yeah, <laughs> it's very affordable, it's less than $30, I'm gonna send it to you, and I was like, great, so I smelt this in the air, and really thought nothing of it, I'm like, okay, it's a freshie, it's something that I have smelt before, that sort of DNA. So I kind of put it off to the side and I didn't touch it for like three weeks, a month. And then one day, like when it was really hot outside, I'm like, you know what? Let me give Dreamer another shot. And thankfully I did because this summer or this past summer, I was rocking this 
nonstop, especially when it was like 90 degrees here and like you would already wake up kind of sweating a bit, I would like shower and then I would throw on the dreamer and then just get to work. So this fragrance to me, like it does resemble fun, but this, this honestly reminds me of me working my ass off in the summer, just like trying to learn how social media works, just posting every single day and being consistent and growing from a small number to like, just getting bigger and bigger on, on TikTok. I wasn't really doing YouTube as much then, YouTube only started like a month or two ago and I really love it. So this just reminds me of the hustle during summertime. So I'll always love this fragrance. It does not last that long. So over spray this thing, just, you know, I mean, I wouldn't suggest spraying it on your neck because I saw a video from Raja Dove where he said that the neck ages very quickly. So you don't want to put like alcohol on it. So on your clothes, whatever, like, you can do it on your back if you want to, I guess. But yeah, this fragrance is just, it's citrusy. I'm going to spray it in the air right now, even though it's spray, it smells like Prada Black. <sighs> Hits me instantly, instantly. And I know that this is a fragrance that people say, like it's, it's marketed to men. But to me, this one is, it's very unisex. And I'm not even talking about like my type of unisex where I'm more forgiving. Like that line is more blurred, like, when my mom smelled this, like she wanted to wear it as well. So she would wear this and it smelled amazing on her. And she loves like the really feminine. She loves Delina. She's like, can you please get me a bottle of Delina? So right now it's my mission to find a bottle of Delina for my mother. But yes, Versace the Dreamer, special place in my heart. And I think that this fragrance holds a lot of memories for a lot of other people out there. So that's my number three. And lastly, a fragrance that grew on me, or you know what? I was thinking about doing a video on a separate video on fragrances that I used to like, but now I don't like, but maybe I could just throw it in this video. Yeah. Let me just do that right now. We'll make it fast. Um, Ultra Mayo by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Yeah. I, I used to like this, uh, this scent a lot when I first smelt it, but to be totally honest with you, I've talked about this before, but I think that when I was when I was new to this and I was reading a lot of reviews like this was like a 4.9 out of 5 stars. Everybody was hyping this up, saying that it was so so sexy and it was amazing, but when I sprayed it, I I feel like I convinced myself to like it because I saw so many of those reviews and I was like, okay, well, if a lot of people like it, then you know, I should I should kind of like it too, you know? So I was kind of going with the flow, but now when I I've, I've kind of established what I like and what I don't like, and this is a scent that kind of nauseates me a little bit, to be totally honest with you. Like one spray of this in my room and I'm gonna air it out because I just don't like it. And typically I like cinnamon vanilla fragrances, but this one is just a bit too sweet for me. I do think it's a strong scent. So if you like strong um, vanilla cinnamon type of fragrances, give this one a shot. And ladies, I know that the bottle looks off-putting to buy for yourself, but this is also very, very unisex. The amount of people that thought I was wearing a perfume then would be shocked that it's actually a men's fragrance. Too many to count. There's too many to count. So don't be swayed by the wang on the bottle. Okay. Another one that, you know what? Maybe I'll just, I'll end the video. <laughs> I'll end the video there because I was about to pull out a fragrance that I just, don't like period. Yeah, but I won't, I won't. Uh, I don't want this video to run too long, but I hope you have a great night. Let me know if there's fragrances that you used to love that now you don't like or vice versa. Okay, I hope you have a great night. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.